Yo, what's going on, guys? And yes, Devin Vassell has signed a, oh my God, a Mr. Five Year, $146 million extension with the San Antonio Spurs. And oh, baby, I've said it before. This team, people are acting like, oh, why do you think they could be a play in tank? I, I'm not one of those people who are going to be like, oh, the Spurs are a playoff team. No, they could maybe be a play-in team. And Devin Vassell is going to be an all-star this year. Calvin Johnson, I like him. But Devin Vassell's floor is being as good as Calvin Johnson. Devin Vassell's ceiling is being you know, one of the best players on this team, not named Victor Wembenyama. And I really do believe it's because he's a swingman who's a... At the bare minimum, he's a 3 and D sniper who's going to have a very long career because when he loses athleticism, he'll be able to have like a Danny Green-esque impact. But right now, he has that secondary playmaking ability where he can be a guy who can not only average 22 points a night, grab like five rebounds, but also dish out like five assists a game. I mean, this past year, he averaged 18 half points, four rebounds, four assists, basically, and shot 44% from the field. And people don't realize is that when he went post All Star break, he was a guy like who you know had some injuries, had some moments where I do think like there were if you saw him in like November through that 13 game stretch, he was averaging like 21 points, okay, and even pre All Star break, he was averaging like 20 points a game. So he's definitely a guy that he is really really good and someone that I very much enjoy with with this team because i think he does have like potential to be really really good in terms of how long his career is he's like going to be the perfect he shows potential of being at six eight almost 215 pounds of being with like a seven foot wingspan of being the perfect you know robin to the batman that is victor Wembanyama. then you have jeremy sohan I've been joking around that saying that if Trey Jones isn't the starting point guard, because we expect we expect the starting lineup to be Trey Jones, Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson, Jeremy Sohan, and Victor Wembanyama. But if they wanted to, Keldon Johnson, Devin Vassell could be your backcourt. Jeremy Sohan could be your power forward. I mean, some off forward. Your power forward is Victor Wembanyama. Zach Collins is your center. And having Devin Vassell, who's proven to be this six foot seven wing, who's a way better scorer than people are giving him credit for. This guy is a great guy at shooting on off the dribble in while moving. Has a great high release point. He can hit knockdown, you know, jumpers. Dude, he's one of the better 1v1 defenders in the league. He's great off the dribble and dude, he is so good. And people act like he's he's like that Tyrese Halliburton esque athlete where on paper you're gonna be like, oh, he's really not that athletic, but now uh, he is that athletic and Devin Vassell is someone I is someone that I have every single time I watch him I'm, I'm blown away and another thing is is like people act like he he like he was overdrafted or underdrafted people forget that like he was a guy that kind of flew up the radar pre-draft because he we all knew he was kind of perfect for the the, the NBA today and some people thought he was going to be someone that they overdrafted or they were going to regret drafting so early. But I honestly think that they're probably looking back at this and the teams are probably saying like, oh my God, we might have had it, should have taken him earlier. But for me, I think this has been a great thing. And, you know, a thing that people are going to look back and be like, how did he fall, you know, so far not be a top five pick? And that's because... He, he was a guy who was his stats. Florida State guys have shown that their stats in college always aren't the same what they do in the NBA. But I love this for the longevity of the franchise.